Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Muslim. I'd like to uh, talk to you in a, in a friendly way, a friendly message about what the Lord Jesus Christ said about you in John chapter 3. In John chapter 3, verse 16, the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking. He says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, Almighty God the Father gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for you and I, uh, for the whole world, and for all religions. And we know that through His blood, we can be saved and be born again. In the John chapter 3, the chapter is on being born again. Uh, Nicodemus, a religious teacher, came to Jesus by night and said that he, would, he knew that Jesus was a, a teacher come from God because he saw the signs that he did and the wonders, the miracles that he did, and no man can do these unless God is with him. And Jesus, talking to this, this biblical teacher, said, you must be born again. You must be born again. Of course, this confused Nicodemus, and he said, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So, being born of the water, of course, is being born from your mother, and being born of the Spirit is being uh, born of your human spirit to God's Spirit. In the, in the Old Testament, when Adam ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the Lord had told, to him, told him, The day that you eat it, you shall surely die. Uh, Adam lived 933 years in the flesh, but in the spirit he died that day. He was eternally separated from God that day because of his sin. Now, that eternal separation comes in the, at the day of accountability. When you and I become knowledgeable of our sin and we are accountable for our sin, we die spiritually to God. We're separated from God and we need a Savior in order to restore our relationship with Almighty God. So we have this Savior in the Lord Jesus Christ. By His blood, we are saved. And when we believe on Him, we believe on the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, then by this uh, belief and faith and confidence in Him, uh, we are washed in the blood of the Lamb. And He restores our spirit relationship with the spirit relationship to Almighty God. And in this, we become born again to God. So when he says in John chapter 3, 16, it's, it's after already describing you must be born again. He said, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, uh, but that the world through him might be saved. Now, Jesus did not come with fire bolts and, and lightning and thunder and destroying the world. He came as Savior. And he's been waiting patiently for us to turn our hearts to him and to receive him as Lord and Savior. Now, there's no other name by which anyone can be saved. We are saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is, uh, this is easy for us. You and I can be saved immediately. We can be saved today. If you'll follow me in this prayer, if you believe that, that God has uh, taken Jesus, Jesus to the cross, He died for our sin, He was put in the tomb for three days, He's resurrected from the dead and seated by the Father, if you believe in the resurrected, true Lord Jesus Christ, you can be saved. And I'll lead you in that prayer. Uh, pray similar to this, or pray after me. Father God, that's right. Father God, I ask you now, forgive my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is raised from the dead, and I forgive my neighbors their trespasses against me. And I receive you, Jesus, as Lord in my life. And I pledge my life unto you. I receive you as my Savior. 
and it's done because you've said it and it's true. Amen. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Muslim, if you have prayed that prayer with me, you have received the Lord Jesus Christ in faith. And your, your faith is, is uh, consummated in salvation. God bless you. Please email me. Goodbye.